Hello, friends. I'm Pastor Pitts Evans. Welcome to the Whole Word Podcast. Let's get right to the Word of God. Isaiah chapter 47. Go down, sit in the dust, virgin daughter Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, queen city of the Babylonians. No more will you be called tender or delicate. Take millstones and grind flour. Lift off your veil. Lift up your skirts, bare your legs, and wade through the streams. Your nakedness will be exposed, and your shame uncovered. I will take vengeance. I will spare no one. Our Redeemer, the Lord Almighty is His name, is the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence. Go down into darkness, queen city of the Babylonians. No more will you be called queen of kingdoms. I was angry with my people and desecrated my inheritance. I gave them into your hands, and you showed them no mercy. Even on the aged you laid a very heavy yoke. You said, I am forever the eternal queen. But you did not consider these things or reflect on what might happen. Now then, listen, you lover of pleasure, lounging in your security, and saying to yourself, I am, and there is none beside me. I will never be a widow or suffer the loss of children. Both of these will overtake you in a moment, on a single day, the loss of children and widowhood. They will come upon you in full measure, in spite of your many sorceries and all of your potent spells. You have trusted in your wickedness and have said, No one sees me. Your wisdom and knowledge mislead you when you say to yourself, I am, and there's none beside me. Disaster will come upon you, and you will not know how to conjure it away. A calamity will fall upon you that you cannot ward off with a ransom. A catastrophe you cannot foresee will suddenly come upon you. Keep on, then, with your magic spells and with your many sorceries, which you have labored at since childhood. Perhaps you will succeed. Perhaps you will cause terror. All the counsel you have received has only worn you out. Let your astrologers come forward, those stargazers who make predictions month by month. Let them save you from what is coming upon you. Surely they are like stubble. The fire will burn them up. They cannot even save themselves from the power of the flame. These are not coals for warmth. This is not a fire to sit by. That is all they are to you. These you have dealt with and labored with since childhood. All of them go on in their error, and there's not one that can save you. And so once again, the Lord is um, prophesying in advance not only the rise of Babylon, but the fall of Babylon as a kingdom that is yet distant in the future from the time of Isaiah. So Isaiah is writing this prophecy uh, somewhere in the 700s B.C., and Babylon would ascend somewhere around 600 B.C. So roughly 100 years later, Babylon would ascend. And then roughly 70 years after their ascension, Babylon would fall. This is predicting the fall of Babylon. The Lord says, go down, sit in the dust, virgin daughter Babylon. Sit on the ground with the throne, queen city of the Babylonians. And so he's speaking about the fall of Babylon. He says, I will take vengeance. I will spare no one. And so the Lord is going to take vengeance on Babylon. Why? Because the Lord was angry with Judah and Babylon was the vehicle of Uh, his judgment on Judah, but Babylon took it way too far. The Lord says in verse 6, I was angry with my people, and I desecrated my inheritance. I gave them into your hand, and you showed them no mercy. Even on the aged, you laid a very heavy yoke. Now notice the Lord is saying these things as if they are past tense. The Lord is not bound by time. He is the, the beginning and the end. He is the one who is, who was, and who is to come. And so it says in past tense, I was angry with my people, and I desecrated my inheritance. When Isaiah penned these words, as I said, it was still 
a hundred years ahead of the actual events. But the point is that the Babylonians would show Israel no mercy. They, they took too far the judgment of God on Judah. And so they brought judgment on themselves. The Babylonians never considered that they too could be judged by Yahweh. Once again, prophetically in verse 7, You said, Babylon, that I am forever the eternal queen. But you did not consider these things or reflect on what might happen. So the Babylonians um, may or may not have been aware that they were tools of judgment over Israel, but they never considered what happened to Israel could happen to them. So disaster will come from the Lord while they believe themselves secure. Verse 8, now listen then, you lover of pleasure, lounging in your security and saying to yourself, I am, and there's none beside me, that reference to I am is uh, they're, they're thinking they're God. I will never be a widow or suffer loss of children, but both of these will overtake you in a moment on a single day, both the loss of your children and your widowhood. Now, what will happen ultimately is the Persians would breach the walls of the city of Babylon and overcome uh, Babylon in a single night. They would stop the flow of a river under the walls of uh, the city of Babylon and come in and and, uh, take Babylon in one night. So it says, in a moment, on a single day, these things will happen. Once again, prophetically, the Lord revealing the end from the beginning. These things will come upon you in full measure in spite of your many sorceries and all of your potent spells. So the Lord was was warning Babylon uh, that disaster would come and there's no way to uh, use witchcraft to fight against God. Sorcery, astrology, and magic cannot save Babylon from the Lord. Verse 12, keep on then with your magic spells and with your many sorceries, which you've labored with since childhood. Perhaps you'll succeed, ironic expression from the Lord. Perhaps you will cause terror. All the counsel you have received has only worn you out. Let your astrologers come forward, those stargazers who make predictions month by month. Let them save you from what's coming on you. Then he goes on, surely they're like stubble. All of them go on in their error. There is not one who can save you. And so God will judge the Babylonians. There is no one who can protect them from the one true and living God. God was indeed angry with Judah. And one day, Judah would come under judgment, and the Babylonians would bring that judgment from God's hand. But the Babylonians would take it way too far. He would show no mercy. He would mistreat the old people and other atrocities that the Lord would view as a sin towards him. And so the Lord's anger would be turned from Judah to Babylon, and then the, the Persians would be used to conquer the Babylonians. So, Lord, we we just once again marvel that you are a God who knows the end from the beginning. Lord, help us to see our choices and our lives, the final end of those things that we choose. Lord, we humans are so weak and so now-oriented. Lord, you know the ultimate end of every choice we make, every move we make, every place we go, every decision we make. Lord, you know where the ultimate end of that will lead. Help us, Lord, to be mindful of these things. Help us to hear from you. Lord, we ask you for mercy and guidance. Don't be angry with us, Lord, but help us. We pray these things, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Whole Word. It was brought to you by Whole Word Fellowship and the Northern Virginia House of Prayer. If you were encouraged, please share our podcast with your friends. We'd also appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app and take a few moments to write a review. If you'd like more information on our church and our ministry, you can go to wholeword.net or wholewordpodcast.com for more information. Thank you again, and may the Lord Jesus bless you today and always.